Congress and really study the effects of this behavioral modification technology. The results are troubling, to say the least. The same trauma is present in test subjects across every simulation. We aren't producing subservient workers. We're replicating trauma. The burger farm employee, Toe, is just 35 years old, and yet his brain activity has aged into that of an 87-year-old. He has lost the ability to perform his tasks in the restaurant, staring listlessly at burning patties. It's a wonder he hasn't burnt the place down. I've observed the same deterioration in the radio host Maverick Cooper. Most of the other test subjects have perished or disappeared, like E7. I will be ordering the extraction of Toe and Maverick when I depart. Hopefully they can regain cognitive function with rehabilitation. I have seen underground is nothing short of horrific. It's not just our experiments. Something is alive down there. Upon extraction, I must demand Zane reconsider his Lucidus initiative. It must be shut down immediately and permanently. We must seal the underground facility. Grimm is a good man, but I fear he's been staring into the darkness for far too long and losing sight of why we all started this. Dr. Rochelle Luna, current assignment call sign E14. I enter the Lucidus Initiative simulations by my own volition. While I told my superiors I wish to test efficacy, I am here to test ethics. Are these simulations humane? I will record my observations and report my findings upon extraction. an organism of unknown origins that attached itself to a happy the humble heifer animatronic. Yes, the cow from the cartoons and the video games. Joy is the only asset we could not contain. She runs freely throughout the facility and is incredibly dangerous. So much so the Paragon plans to abandon its underground operations and convert it into a prison for these... these things. The scientists who first discovered Joy managed to survive with his life, but not with his sanity. First he turned against Paragon, then he turned against himself. It is inadvisable to interact with Happy, a.k.a. Alice and Joy. She's violent and extremely dangerous. If she were able to break free from the facility, there's no telling what would happen to the island or the world at that. That's why I need to stop all this. Erased. 
my families have no idea they even worked here. And now, I'll never hear from them again. that New Allegiance City 
you can buy radio transmitters and other rare and weird items. You might even be able to sell some things or two for some credits, but you aren't making money on the side, are you? We've got extra shifts available, you know. I'm E7. The one they used to keep in the Burger Bart simulation. The tech in HHBB was too effective and the, the hypnosis was too strong. It made me nauseous. Everything was all warped looking and jittery. A after the big explosion knocked the simulations off the grid, I managed to break out of there. But Paragon captured me and moved me here to Happy Burger. I, I, I think this diner simulation stage is much older than Barn. The hypnosis is so much weaker. I've started to remember who I am again. The, the robot customers have become much more advanced since I left Barn and got thrown into the diner. Less creepy looking too. I managed to capture one of them, power it down and remove his head before tossing all his limbs in that spooky parking garage. I've been hacking into the head back in my motel, off shift. And believe it or not, he came to life. He has an actual personality. He never shuts up, and every other joke bombs, but... Vic. Vic is my only friend. This virtual intelligent cybernetic isn't just someone to talk to, though. He's gonna be my ticket out of here. Get out of here. So, I got moved again. This time from an early burger farm stage in Unfinished City to a super spruced up version called, um, New Elysian City. Man, I can't believe they actually gave us trucks in some of those simulations. My legs miss them. Anyway, uh, I finally managed to transfer VIC from my old apartment near the diner to, uh, my new apartment in New Elysian. Dragged Vic by the cables through the sewers. He wouldn't stop complaining the whole way. Almost got us caught by one of those... Uh, things. We've, uh, started to work on these recipes. Keycard hackers, bombs, and the most important of all, the helmet. When the helmet is finished... It'll fry that lousy chip they implanted in my skull. And then I can finally get out of this place. Once and for all. Skier aren't all that bad, you know? Sure, they may have extended my contract numerous times. Keeping me here for what has to be several years at this point. Really hard to tell how much time passes when you're underground. But at least they've been lining up great interviews for me at New Elysian Talk Radio. Maverick, uh, Camp Cooper signing, signing out. Off. Obscura has me making videos for their TV programming now. It must be nuts. I'm loading the shows they're paying me to make with so many truth bombs. Time to wake some people up. People need to know fabricating reality isn't some ticket to paradise. It's a totalitarian goal, and with the world government backing it, it has the potential to kill millions. Anyone who dissents is in danger. Maverick Cooper, signing out. What's up, Seacoast Row subscribers? I've been at this King's Comfort Resort for a while now, and Obscura stuck to their word. My last broadcast, you may remember me, signing a legally binding verbal contract. This contract essentially stuck me under obscure control for a year. And they weren't kidding. I haven't been allowed to leave the island. What have I got myself into? Anyway, I'm gonna upload these short audio logs onto this private Seacoast Roast status post server. Only subscribers get to hear it. Since that's the case, may as well drop a little bombshell on you here. Maverick Cooper, signing off. Hello, my name is Theodore Oliver Emerson. 
but my family calls me Theo, and my friends, they all call me Toe. I've wanted to escape that nickname since childhood, and I finally did when I got here, but now, now I'd give anything to hear them call me Toe one last time. I've been stuck here in New Elysian City. It's like this fake town. I don't know how to get out. If you're hearing this, you gotta help me. I think there's others too, and you gotta hurry. They're doing something to our brains. I'm losing my memories. Starting to forget, well, almost everything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.